This is David Spiegel for MPHawks.com, here with head women's soccer coach Colleen Brulee, uh reigning SUNYAC Coach of the Year, and she led her team to the fir her first SUNYAC championship in program history. Uh, last year, your team went 14-6-3, with not even the, be the best start, went eight games in the middle of the season without a loss, finished 6-2-1, and one, which is good for second in the conference. Uh, what's just your overall reaction to the last year? Uh, it was an incredible season. Um, you know, still kind of riding the high, but we uh, we know that it's a new year now. Um, but uh, the kids still talk about it all the time. Uh, they talk about the experience, and it's just something that I'm so happy to be able to give to uh, a team that have worked so hard for it. And after winning the uh, Suniac Championship, you went and surprised a lot of people in the country by winning two games in the NCAA tournament, almost winning a third. Uh, what kind of experience does that give your t your players this year? Um, they have now, they have an incredible confidence that we've never had before within the program. Now they understand that they can step on the field and if they play their game, we play the way we can, they can compete uh, or, and or beat any team that we come up against. And uh, we've never had that confidence before and, and now you can see it in practice, you can see it, they just, they walk around with that confidence. And I'm sure to make sure that uh, they don't get too overconfident. Uh, as I told them the other day, we have not, we've done nothing in 2012. Um, so yes, we we're very happy about that, and we're very it's still with us, but it's a new year. And uh, with all the success of last year, what are your team's goals for this year? Um, we, we've come up with a lot of goals, of course, uh, to win a SUNYAC championship again. Um, you know, I'd like to be first in the conference and not second this year. Um, they they are they have an, uh, a new. Um, thought process with regards to non-conference games. Um, last year they took them kind of easy and this year you know we know that those are important too and we want to make sure that we succeed in all of those games uh, and uh, score more goals and let in fewer goals. We let in I think 11 last year we want to we want to cut that down even more this year so that's pretty much much it. And uh, as mentioned before you were the name the coach of the year in SUNYAC last year your second uh, award. Uh, what will you do this year to make sure you win that again? Uh, well, it, it can't go to the same coach two years in a row, um, so it will go to someone else. But uh, you know, I mean, to me, it's it's what the kids do anyway. So that was just a, you know, a kind of uh, addition to the top of it, and uh, on top of everything that that happened, it was just a, a nice little perk there. But um, yeah, so we'll be giving it to someone else this year, but. You know, I, we look to do just as well, of course. Now, uh, your goalkeeper, Stephanie Vega, obviously had an incredible year last year. She was number one in the SUNYAC in shutouts with 13, uh, second in the country in saves per game, number one in saves and save percentage and goals against average, all in the SUNYAC right there. Uh, even at one point, she went over 699 minutes without allowing a goal. Uh, she was also named a, uh, one of the NCAA's top 10 players to watch in Division Three soccer. Uh, she's Division uh, D3 soccer.com, third team All-American, second team All-SUNYAC. What do you expect out of her this year? Um, she she looks great. She's confident as well, and uh, we're really excited that we have her for one more year. Um, you know, my goal for her is, you know, to continue with the shutouts, continue with the, you know, minutes without giving up a goal. Uh, but also, I want her to be an All-American. There's no reason why she can't be. Uh, she's just one of the best. There was teams last year uh, in the NCAA tournament that said that she's the best goalkeeper in D3 that they've ever seen. Um, so there's no reason why she can't be an All-American. Uh, she's just got to work as hard as she did last year and have confidence and continue to talk in, to the players in front of her. And, uh, and she should absolutely have the chance to, to do that this year. Now, uh, you only graduated two seniors last year, obviously very big impact players, but you still have most of your starting team here. Uh, how do you expect that experience to uh, help your team this year, and uh, which incoming players do you think will play an immediate role? Okay, great. Um, they, yeah, we lost. Uh, the biggest loss, I mean, we, we love Alexa. She has she was a great character, but the biggest loss was uh, Shannon Cobb at the back. Her leadership was incredible for us. Um, so we've we've talked to uh, Emily Rokotowski for, to step up uh, about stepping up and taking on that leadership role. Um, we've also added Gabby Martino uh, is going to take over for Shannon Cobb in the back, and 
the 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 other the back three are really comfortable with her as being the fourth person back there. Um, we're confident with her, and uh, she's done some some great things for us in the preseason. So we're hoping and, and guessing that she's just going to step right in and it's not even going to be much of a difference um, with her back there. Uh, in the midfield, we've, we've got uh, a new freshman that has come in. We've got a couple options, but this freshman has really stepped up and I know she's going to get better and better as the season goes on. Uh, that's Tina Gandolfo. Um, she was the le second leading scorer in Long Island last year, so uh, we're excited for her to, to come in. Um, her possession is great, her, her touch on the ball is great, and we're looking for her to work really well with uh, Eleni and Selmy, who's, who's just done, had an awesome preseason. Um, and then up top, we're looking for Sam, of course, to continue where she was last year being a threat. Uh, but we have uh, an awesome freshman who's come in, Chelsea Ware. She's got speed, she's got touch, uh, she can finish. She's got everything that we've been looking for in a striker, so we're really excited about her as well. Um, but again, we've got a number of options up top, so um, it's nice to be able to have a deep uh, bench in that, in those positions. So uh, we're excited. We we feel we're actually stronger. You know, we're we're more mature. We're stronger than we were last year, and uh, you know, we just got to make sure we step out in the field every time, ready to play. And if we do that, then then again, we can beat anyone. Who do you expect to be your team leaders this year and step out? Uh, we have eight seniors. Um, two of them, I'm hoping, Gabby, Martino, and Shelby, that they stay on for an extra year. They have an extra year of eligibility, but um, you know we're counting them as seniors. So we have eight. So we're not actually naming a captain. We're going to do weekly captains mm -hmm. with those eight. And uh, you know I expect leadership from each of them. They all bring something different to the table, um, and they've all stepped up so far in preseason and are taking on those leadership roles. Um, so. You know, it'll be interesting. It'll be a little different than last year. Last year we had we had the leadership of Cobb, um, but uh, I'm expecting all of them to bring something, and and they have so far. So we're excited about that. And uh, what are your overall expectations for the season? We're excited. We can't wait to start, and um, we just uh, we we feel that we're stronger. We feel that we're better than we were last year, and. Uh, you know, again, it's just us stepping out there and, and getting some freshmen some time to, to adjust, but hopefully they'll be able to get in there right away and, and be comfortable with our style of play. Um, we've made some changes with our style of play in the positive way, and, uh, you know, we're looking to press more. We're looking to uh, really, we want to score more goals this year. So we're looking to defend in every part of the field, and, uh, you know, that's how we scored in, in one of our scrimmages, and um, we're excited about that, and we just can't wait to get started. All right, great. Thank you very much, Colleen. We wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you very much.